Hello everyone, this is Kern Canada here. In this video I'm just going to be showing you a quick gold making strategy that I use a lot or for boosting people, like level 58 plus. It's in Hellfire Ramparts and what I'm going to be showing you how to do is pull the whole entire instance from the start, of the, well to back to the start of the instance without really going too far. All you're going to use is this mob to your right here. It's the uh, destroyer. I'm just changing my spec here. I was waiting for these guys to pop back, and it'll kill the two people who are with him first. He's the main guy in the front there, the big silver guy. <laughs> Let's kill these two, watch your AoEs around him, make sure you don't kill him. And then after you've got them him on his own, you want to be pulling him back like I should be doing any second now. Yep, just be pulling him back to the start. If you stand whereabouts I'm about to go and just keep jumping, try and make sure that he's facing the same way as you as well, just in case he punch you. Well, he will punch you whichever way he's facing instead of you. So just keep jumping, just waiting to be hit up on top of there. This is where you'd usually come down after finishing the instance. So I was going to use a ranged instant cast spell or a taunt to attack someone up there and jump back down. This will force the mobs to run back around through the instance, bringing everyone else with them. I've got my friend Sam, Twonka is a paladin, but he's going to be healing me. I tried this a few times on my own and I had a bit of trouble. I could, I had the health and the defence, but they have a lot of stuns when they're, well, when more of them come. I didn't really have a few seconds where I wasn't stunned. So I couldn't pop off my rune tap for some my vampiric blood. On the death pact. But I think they take quite a while to get here this time. Yeah. These the gold isn't really too impressive. Uh we tried it on heroic afterwards, but it turns out the destroyer doesn't have a punt anymore, which is the knockback effect. He used to, and used to be able to make about 400 gold if you got decent loot at the same time. You need to make sure you're pulling these out of line of sight as well, because they have a lot of casters, and also seems that I've got a healer here, I want to be trying to keep the aggro on me. The damage that they pull off, if you've got, an, well, the armor for it isn't really too insane. It's just annoying when bosses get here and they start stunning you, or if... You, if you don't keep them in front of you, they're gonna obviously you're not gonna avoid their attacks. I think the healer gets aggro a few times here from me getting stunned and disarmed and knocked back. But any of the level eighties shouldn't really have problems. Yeah, I doubt you'll have much chance of doing this on anything but a. Uh, Death Knight or a Paladin, unless you've got a healer with you. Another tactic we tried after this, which made it a lot easier, is after I got punted up onto there, we punted the healer up as well, so he could heal me from up there without having to worry about getting the aggro. So if he took threat from anything, I could tell that they were you know, running away across that bridge to go all the way around the instance to him, so I could quickly death grip him back. We didn't really have any problems with aggro this much this time but it was more for thinking about doing it on heroic but unfortunately it didn't really work because there was no punt. Um, on average from doing this you can make a good no, 60 gold 60 80 gold from just looting and selling well looting the gold selling the items and if you're boosting someone through here the XP is amazing.